Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to compression test your vehicle. One of the first steps to getting a correct reading on your compression test is starting your vehicle and letting it idle for a minute or two in order to heat those rings so they have a correct seal. After running your engine for a few minutes, you're going to want to pull your spark plug wires. Now that you have pulled your spark plug wires, you're going to want to remove each spark plug in each cylinder. After removing your spark plugs, always make sure to check the tips for any kind of foul or oil or any kind of water residue on the tips of the spark plug. That would be a great telltale sign of a problem. Now that all of your spark plugs are removed, you're going to come underneath the hood of your car and you're going to look for your fuse box. Now you're looking for an FIE slash M or fuel management or fuel injection. It'll be, it should be a 15 amp fuse. For each vehicle it may differ. You're going to want to pull the cap and you're going to want to remove that fuse. What that does is when you turn the key or the ignition it doesn't allow the fuel pump to prime so you won't be spraying any fuel in your cylinders while you're doing the compression test. Now the motor is ready to be compression test. You can pick up a compression tester at any local automotive parts store. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to disconnect the compression tester from the hose. Once you've disconnected it, you're going to take this end of the hose with the two seals and you're going to put it in cylinder 5 or any cylinder you feel like testing. Once you've gone ahead and tightened it in there, just turn it like that. You're going to hook the compression tester up and now it's time to do a compression test. I'm going to do at least 10 cranks to get a correct reading. Another quick tip would be if you happen to get low compression in one or more cylinders, take a cap full of oil and pour it down in that cylinder. If the compression rises, then you have either a bad piston ring or a cracked ringlet.